Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ivy if you are new here and today I am going to be doing probably one of my biggest thrift hauls yet. We spent over $100, which I usually never do at the thrift store. Both of my cats are here joining me. I wish you could see them. They're literally all over me right now. So that is probably them distracting me. I'm not really sure what this weird shadow is. I'm really sorry about that. Maybe if I sit up a little bit higher it'll not be in my face but i want to show you everything that me and my boyfriend got so the first thing that we got i cannot show you because it was too big to get home we bought a leather recliner for 60 dollars. it's in literally great condition i wish i would have taken a picture of it the handles shoot a little bit but it works perfectly fine and it was 60 bucks and you know it'll work for us so that was like the bulk of our purchase okay I'm gonna have to fix this shadow because this is so annoying okay I think that made the lighting worse but I don't see the shadow anymore so that's good it also made my contact go wanky okay so let's move on to the rest of the stuff we got we got three different pieces of wall art this is the one for my apartment I absolutely love stuff like this this is completely and 100% my style this was two dollars and as you can see there's a little bit of scuffing on the frame but we can just paint over that those things can be fixed and there is also a little oh I'm sorry the glare a little hiccup right there but again I think I shouldn't have an issue matching that with another paint and just giving her a little bit of a touch up the next two pieces of art Logan picked out for his apartment. This is the first one. This was $3.75. And I'm not sure where we're going to put this, but or where he wants to put it. But it's honestly really, really pretty. It's super cute, and it's really generic. So not generic in a bad way. But like whenever we move in together, I'm sure we can make it go with something. As with mine, it's a little bit more you know, pretty specific style. This is the last piece that we got. It is super long. It just needs a good cleaning, but it's honestly so pretty. And I feel like I've never seen anything like it before. And I just really, really like it. The next thing we got was this basket, which currently has um, other stuff in it. This was a dollar. We purposely got this because we have been looking for something to store all of our kitties, um, toys in because right now they're just everywhere and this has a nice lid so they can just come in and get whatever they want i'm sure they will rip this wicker up a little bit but again it was a dollar so it is what it is then let's unpack what's in here this is a little oil bottle that's painted i'm gonna use it as a little vase in my apartment this was 95 cents i think there's definitely someone in my area that like get stuff like this and paints it and I don't know who it is and I want to know who it is because I swear I buy all of it then Logan has an obsession with coke bottles I'm not really sure why let me know down in the comments if you guys have any idea like if we got like a collection of like coke and pepsi bottles because honestly you can find them pretty much everywhere and there's another little like uh, independent seller shop in our area that always has like really cool Pepsi bottles. Let me know if you guys can think of like a good way to decorate with them or like display with them. That would be cool because I don't want to just like keep them in the cabinet, you know, because I feel like you don't really use these glasses. There was also a smaller one. I believe the bigger one was 95 cents and this was 35 cents. I don't know how this lady got all of this stuff in this box. I guess I'm going to take it out anyway and put the kitty toys in it tonight. So we'll just leave it out. I also got two different kinds of fabric. I just got this blue satin one. I always get the nicer satin fabrics that they have. This is one and three fourths of a yard. It was $1.75. Then I also got this other fabric and there's seven yards here. So, and it was $7. They always do a dollar per yard. I thought it was tool when I picked it up. So I just grabbed it right away and didn't even take a second glance. And as you guys can tell, I don't know what the lighting is in there or what drugs I was on that I thought this was tool, but it is clearly not. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. Literally none. Literally no idea. And I, I never buy fabric unless I have 
like instant inspiration from it. So that, that'll probably be the best thing I make ever is whatever out of that fabric since it's the one that I was like, had instant buyer's regret from. Then we also got a movie. This was $3, Ellen Enchanted. I can never find it on anything. I feel like nothing, nothing ever has it. No streaming sites. And it's such a great movie. I'll probably put it in when I'm cleaning up. Uh, Logan also got this little Coke tin. It's just like a little Coca-Cola tin. It's actually so cute. I have no idea what we'll do with this, but it is really, really cute. I didn't really look at it until now, but I'm really glad we got this. This was super cute. It was 95 cents. Then I also got just two of these candles. Um, I don't remember if I showed this in a haul, but I got this really, really pretty candle holder from home goods it's literally the prettiest thing i've ever seen and it's the size of the little tea lights or that's how they're called um but these are the same size and they're like a thicker or taller candle and i think that they will just look so much better in that than a little tea light and then i've we've been saying for literally probably months about how we need to get coasters for this place because there's no coasters literally anywhere obviously because we need to get them like sometimes I talk in these videos and when I rewatch them, I'm like, girl, you're just talking. Anywho, all of his furniture though was like real wood. And even if we're not necessarily going to keep it for the rest of our lives, you know, you still want to keep it nice for somebody else. I always say we can find coasters at our thrift shop and we never do. But this time we did. We found a pack of six and they even come in this little box, which I have no idea what I'm going to do with. Uh, but they're super cute. They're all different. So I want to show them all to you. I'm going to assume that these are like a place. Let me know if you guys recognize the skyline because I'm going to assume that these are like a, a souvenir purchase. But they're beautiful. They're literally so cute. Can never go wrong. And there's six of them and I only thought there was four. So what a steal y'all and it, this was $1.25 so I'm not sure why but they had a couple of Christmas things out they had tree toppers and we found this Christmas snowman blanket and it's honestly like I feel like sometimes when I look at blankets in thrift stores they're really um like scratchy and you just know you wouldn't actually use them but this will just be such a cute little throw for Christmas time and I personally don't think getting blankets and stuff like this at thrift stores is that gross because you can just throw it in the dryer and everything will be off of it. And it was only a dollar. So even if it's just like for our cat, you know, that's, that works. Okay. We have four more things. I got this beautiful vase. I'm going to take this ugly yellow ribbon off of it. I hope nobody was attached to it. I knew as soon as I saw it that I was going to take this ribbon off of it. I'm sure I can find something else to use that for. But again, this is painted. It's literally gorgeous. I absolutely love stuff like this. And I cannot wait for my entire apartment to be decked out in it. And this was $1.75. Okay, now this is the stuff that I literally just picked up because we were buying everything. This was $1.95. It's this cute little elephant pot. I'm obsessed, obsessed with elephants. And I'm planning on taking these flowers out and probably planting a real plant in this. But she is just so cute. And elephants have been my favorite animal since literally probably the day I was born. As long as I can remember. Let me guys, let me know guys if you can think of anything I can do with these fake roses. Because the roses themselves are actually in pretty good condition. It's just this as a whole I don't like. I just like the pot. But I feel like these roses I could do something with. So let me know if you guys have any ideas. Then we got another fake plant that you can definitely tell was sat in the sun because it does have a little fadage up here. It kind of looks like if it was a real plant, it would be dying. That's okay. We'll probably just like stick this somewhere in our bathroom. This was $2.50 and it's honestly really, really nice. Like such a cute plant. Then last but certainly not least, I literally looked at this. I was like, oh my God, look at this, Logan when we were at the thrift store and he's like you're not buying that I was hurt actually hurt because I have just been looking at these on Pinterest and I was like oh my god like how cool would it be if I could get one of those and I found it at the thrift store it is this I'm gonna assume this yeah this would definitely be considered vintage uh because it's definitely more than 20 years I don't know if out of date or out of style it is this brass desk lamp 
literally gorgeous. Let me know in the comments if you guys think I should paint this. I don't know if that's something you would typically do with these, if you would paint them, if that would be a normal thing to do. I'm just not a huge fan of the color. I think you can definitely see the wear on the metal, and I feel like paint would help that, but then I'm thinking, would paint even stick to this? Let me know. I feel like I am one of those people that just thinks you can slap a coat of paint on anything and it'll be fine, not realizing that the paint has to grab onto something to be able to stick. You know what I'm saying? And that was $3.95. So that is everything that we got. Our total was, I think, $108. And honestly, I'm glad we got every single thing. Literally, like, we weren't holding anything back this time. We were just picking up everything we liked. And most of the stuff that, like, we were throwing in our car was, again, like, $1.25. So not a huge deal. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul. It was definitely a little random thing. I wasn't planning on filming it, so it was just bad light, bad background sitting on the floor type of video definitely make sure you, that you subscribe i try to upload once a week but it usually ends up being every two weeks but hopefully that you are watching this and you click on my profile and you see that it's been every week for a while and you're like good for you girl again thank you guys so much for watching this video i will see you in my next video I wanna write one of those cheesy songs